Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You might agree with me when I say that education is the main force for change. It is an absolute necessity for the social and economic development of individuals as well as for nations. It is therefore imperative that it be taken seriously, never neglected, and always evolving to improve. Most of the countries in the MENA region have made significant strides to modernize the educational system and have shown their full commitment to improve overall academic curriculum. However, the quality of education in some of those countries is still lagging behind and the need to elevate it is urgent. Now the essential question is, what can, we, what can be done to improve our educational system? A lot has been said to answer this question However, something is still missing. So I decided to interview teachers, students, administrators to get closer to the real problem. And I started to realize as I spoke with more people that the root of the problem was the lack of communication. And it affects our educational system from primary school to graduate school. This lack of communication is the precursor to many other problems that could be resolved or avoided if it had been in place. The following video clip shows the opinion of students and teachers sharing their views about this issue. Let's take a look. Donc je ne suis pas d'accord pour dire qu'il y a qu'un recul et une dégradation au niveau du système éducationnel au Maroc. Il y a plutôt un développement plutôt timide dans l'ensemble. Que malheureusement au Maroc, on n'enseigne pas la communication. Au Maroc, on, on, on demande aux étudiants d'apprendre par cœur ce que leur dit le professeur. Various serious problems have therefore developed and accumulated throughout the previous years that unfortunately cannot be solved in few days. أو الهيكلة ديال القطاع بصفة عامة دون تحدث على المشكل الأساسي وهو التواصل. Communication is the only way for us to find out what is it exactly that is going wrong and therefore we'll be able to fix it in a, in a way that actually is efficient. La vie c'est de la parole, la vie c'est de la communication. Ceux qui parlent arrivent. Et si jamais je suis toujours, je, je, je communique avec mon professeur par les billets d'une feuille. Comment voulez-vous que j'arrive Certainement qu'il y a quelqu'un d'autre qui va arriver et non pas moi. Ensuite, il faut briser les distances qui existent entre les professeurs et les élèves et euh, établir un certain rapprochement entre les professeurs et les élèves en vue de savoir les méthodes à établir en vue d'améliorer la performance. With a missing dialogue between the students' parents, the school office, the teachers and the students, a cold, empty gap doesn't cease to grow. Parce que le problème, c'est que les étudiants ne sentent pas qu'il y a un problème de communication. Ça, c'est grave. Vous savez, si les étudiants reconnaissent qu'il y a un problème de communication et que ça, ça leur dérange, si ils ont l'audace de leur dire, parce qu'il y a certains qui reconnaissent, mais qui sont un peu peureux, s'ils ont le courage, je crois qu'on pourrait faire beaucoup. En ces temps de changement, qu'on vient, bah, vient de connaître le monde, parce que c'est plus seulement le monde arabe, mais maintenant c'est le monde tout entier qui connaît des changements, il... Il n'a besoin de réformes dans le, dans le système éducationnel. And we can't pretend to solve the outcoming problems from previously taken decisions without updating the old reforms and without building a true dialogue between all who are concerned. لأن هاد الحوار ما فيش ما كان قصدوش بيه واحد انتقاص من قيمة الأستاد. أو لا من قيمة الطالب أو شيء من هذا القبيل وإنما هو حوار بناء غادي يؤدي نتيجة اللي هي نهوض بالقطاع التعليم. Si on est motivé, on cherche quelque chose pour notre patrie, il faut se réveiller, il faut sentir qu'il y a un problème, il faut se former, il faut communiquer. Hear us, maybe we can help. I know that we can just hear us. Communication in our educational system is in dire need of restructuring. The normal flow of information within the system starts at the top 
within the Ministry of Education and flows down through the bureaucracy, administration, teachers, and finally the students. However, there is a lack of a reverse track for this communication flow. What is needed is one that starts from the students and moves up to the teachers, administration, and the ministry. I believe that the students are the most important variable in the system, but a little attention is given to their needs or to what they have to say. From the research I conducted and the people I talk, I've, I've spoken with, there are five main causes that contribute major obstacles to effective communication. First, there is the absence of a round table for dialogue that involves all the parties of the educational system, especially when it comes to reform and restructuring. How can decision makers make relevant reform if they don't really know what issues students and teachers are concerned with? The ministry imposes what it believes is the right court of action with a little input from students and teachers alike. The second barrier to communication has twofold, and it concerns teachers. Some teachers are uninvolved in the teaching process and show a lack of interest in and out of the classroom. This negative attitude affects students and demoralizes their passion for learning. Another problem is that some teachers have a false sense of grandeur and superiority over their students and treat them with disrespect. The problem is that students can't voice their frustration because there isn't a medium. And the first thing, we, the funny thing is that the first thing we'll, we learn in school is the proverb, قُمْ لِلْمُعَلِّمِ وَبَجِّلْهُ تَبْجِيلًا which is, stand for the teacher and give him respect. The teacher is almost a prophet. The third barrier to communication is the generational gap and it's some, between existing teachers and their students. Some teachers in high school are in their 40s and 50s and have nothing in common with their students who are in their teens. Furthermore, they don't try to reach out to these students in, in a more personal level. The, first barrier to the fourth barrier to communication is that there is a, 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 genuine, a lack of a genuine interest on behalf of the administration to involve students in decision-making process, the, especially on matters which affect students directly. Some bureaucratic services take so much time that a simple registration process for students turns into a nightmare. Last but not least are the cultural norms which students affect themselves. It is, in our culture, it is frowned upon to express or to argue a different opinion than that is of your elders. Uh, uh, as a result, some, the a majority of students choose to please and submit to cultural norms rather than challenge them, and this leads to a diminished feedback. In order to bridge this gap of communication, a group of students and I have decided to work on a project which we believe solved this problem. We believe a good place to start is to first develop a forum that gives all its el the elements of the educational system a voice to express their opinions and agenda. This network's desired result is to contribute to the educational system with the help of motivated students and teachers who have the will to give back to the community and make a positive change. I want to give the students a voice to express their concerns and to, and to give the voice to the teachers to discuss their feedback with the students. I kind of this morning kind of chat with my uh, roommate, Micah, for the name of this, of this program. And we came up with this name, which is Amens 2.0, <laughs> which is the annual Moroccan Educational Network for Dialogue in Schools. I believe that the immense delegates are the leaders of today and we need to collaborate with each other in a constructive manner to ensure our mutual success. To sum up, I strongly believe that we can improve our curriculum's performance by enhancing the way we communicate. To sum up uh, with this proverb of Clay Shirky, he said that when we change the way we communicate, we change society. Thank you.